Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Sometimes you may want to use the rotation of an object as the basis for fragment sorting in order to create a specific effect. But how can this be done? It's actually very easy. Since release 19 you can define an arbitrary vector for sorting of fragments in the Voronoi Fracture object. To do so, select the Voronoi Fracture object, go to the Sorting tab and set the sort result by parameter to user. A new vector parameter appears, which is called direction. If you want to set the sorting direction to the rotation of another object, like this null for instance, you need to create a very simple Expresso setup. Right click on the null and choose Cinema 4D Tags Expresso. Drag and drop the null and the Voronoi Fracture object into the Expresso window to create nodes for them. Click on the red corner of the nulls node and create an output for the global matrix. A matrix holds information about the position, rotation and scale of an object. Select the Voronoi Fracture object and drag and drop the direction parameter from the sorting tab to the Voronoi Fracture object's node in the Expresso window in order to create an input for it. Now we need to connect both ports by using an additional node which converts a matrix into vectors. Right click in the Expresso window and choose New Node, Expresso, Adapter, Matrix to Vectors and connect its input with the global matrix port of the nulls node. As you can see, a matrix consists of four vectors. Offset holds the position information. V1, V2 and V3 hold the rotation and the scaling information of the X, Y and Z axes. Now you can decide which axis you want to use for sorting. Connect the respective output port into the direction port of the Voronoi Fracture node. Done! You can now rotate the null and the sorting of the fragments immediately adjusts. Thanks for watching! For more information on Cinema 4D or other Maxon products, please visit cineversity.com or maxon.net.